G'day everyone. In a previous video I showed you how you can build a guitar pedal for under $10 using a small household tin like this one. Instead of building that $10 effect, I decided to build a punch amp uh, inside the enclosure. And that cost about $6 to $8 approximately to build this one as well. The punch amp is a 1 watt 9 volt um, uh, guitar amp and um, you can use it to, you can use a, a 9 volt battery or a Boss power chain to, um, to power it. Don't let this tin fool you in, in any way. This this effect actually, this amp actually has quite a significant output if you set it up correctly. Um, it, it's difficult for me to show you how how loud it's going to be because this this um, this camera is going to um, is going to condense the volume, unfortunately. Um, but you have to take my word for it. If you set it up correctly, it has quite a significant. Uh, output enough to annoy the neighbors put it that way so before I go into any detail about how to build one yourself I'll just show you a quick sound sample of the amp first on its own then with an EQ and then with some um, digital digital reverb as well um, just to make it sound nice uh, I've attached the um, amp to my Fender Twin speakers which are 2x12 speakers I'll just get the, um, cam the camera off here and show you how it's connected so there's the amp, the, the green, the white wire are the speakers, and then they go up to um, the connector on the back of the um, on the back of the on the back of the twin. Twin's not turned on for this. You might think that it, it might think that it is because it's um, it's pretty damn impressive, but um, it is not the Fender. So let's have a listen to a couple of sound samples now. So with my particular setup, I found that the amp really benefits from uh, some EQ when you raise the um, raise the top end. It, um, it sounds really quite nice, um, and um, and with these two speakers um, and the EQ, you get a, quite a significant output. As I said before, the amp on its own sounds a bit sort of flat. So I'll show you some more samples of the amp um, uh, towards the end of the video. Uh, some some heavy heavy distortion and fuzz and a bit of overdrive and things like that. Um, but I'll just go into some details on how you can actually build this amp yourself. So first, the tins actually come from my mum. She said that it was a um, a Nutrimedics foundation tin. I, I, mentioned, I mentioned that in the last video, the um, build a guitar pedal for under $10 video. If you get yourself a tin like this one, you should definitely be able to build this for under $10. So taking a look inside the amp, you can see there's, there's really not much in there. You've got a handful um, of hardware and, um, and, and components. The most expensive part of the punch amp is probably the amplifier chip itself, which is the TDA7052. If you get the TDA7052A, you can add this volume control. Um, do your research on that, but I'm pretty sure that that's how that's how it works. I got the um, the 7052A. That's how I've got the volume control on the front. You can get them on eBay for I think I got mine for two for about four dollars. Um, so they're about two dollars each. I used a 500k linear pot for the um, volume control um, just because that's what I had on hand. So I won't go into detail on all the components used in this um, in this amp because um, uh, you can see those on the schematic. But to find the schematic, go to do-it-yourself do-it-yourself stompboxes.com and type in punch amp and um, and you'll find the thread where um, it's being discussed. And on page four, you'll see the th the um, the schematic that um, the one that I followed is on page four. I think the user's name was. Uh, CHP tunes or something like that. Um, that's that's the uh, that's the schematic that I followed. Speaker selection is also very important. 
um, as I learned from this project, um, it has quite a quite a bit of influence on the volume output of the amp and obviously how the amp's going to sound as well. I originally connected um, the punch amp up to this uh, book uh, bookshelf speaker and I think the um, speaker and it's about six inches with the um, tweeter uh, disconnected as well. But when you connect it up to a larger loudspeaker you'll get more you'll get more volume out of it. Also be sure to check that the that the impedance of the speaker matches the amplifier. There's more details about that in the um, data sheet of the uh, of the amplifier chip. So that's a basic rundown of the amplifier. Um, now I'll just plug it in and um, do a few record a few sound samples, and we'll see what it sounds like. And um, hopefully it'll come through and sound as impressive as it does actually sitting in front of it. I mean, when you take a look at what's what's inside this thing, there's just you know like like eight components in there it's i'm quite amazed at how how good this little um this little circuit sounds so let's do some sound samples now So I hope you liked the video on how to build a guitar amp for under $10. Um, if you did give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe too to my channel for all sorts of uh, guitar pedal and uh, guitar electronics related videos and, um, and all that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching.